In this screencast, we'll cover changing the color and size of your icons. We'll assume you're already familiar with the basics of adding Font Awesome icons to your project. If not, we've added links below that'll help cover that. Okay, so Font Awesome icons automatically inherit size and color. I'll show you what I mean. I'll head over to Code Pen, and if I insert an icon here, and there we are. You'll see that it automatically inherited the size and color of the text around it. That's pretty cool. But there may be a time when you want to change an icon size or color. Okay, we'll use a solid style icon here, which is included in the free version of Phone Awesome. So let's say we want our coffee super hot, and that's hot as in temperature, not as in attractiveness. Let's change the color to red. Style. Okay, awesome. Color of our icon is now red. But let's say we've taken too long and our coffee's gotten cold. Let's change that color to an icy blue. So what we'll do is we'll copy and paste another icon here. And we'll change that color to a Dodger blue. Great. A uh, quick note, um, you don't have to use the predetermined CSS colors. You can also use hexadecimal colors if you have a specific brand color in mind. All right, let's see. Let's paste that in. I believe this is the hex for Dodger Blue. And it is, same color. Okay, so same icon. We were able to change the color with a CSS color name or hexadecimal color. So we've changed the color of our icons. Pretty easy, right? But what if you want to change the size of your icon? Well. That's pretty easy too. Icons will automatically match the size of your text, which is also called relative sizing. Check and drop in an icon. Paste that in. Let's bump this up a little. As you can see here, the icon matches the size and alignment of the text. But if you want to scale that up or down, Font Awesome can do that too. Font Awesome includes a range of t-shirt base sizes, like small, medium, large, so on and so forth. So all we need to do to change the size is add small, large, or XL right here. Let's try XL. All right. And you see our icon got a little bigger relative to the text. Now, we also use a literal size scale. You might choose this if you need a really, really large size or if you're not concerned with text alignment. All you have to do is include 2X, 3X, 5X, and so on. So let's try that now. Let's say FA 6X. Yeah, and as you can clearly see, the, the coffee mug got a lot bigger. And as an aside, if you'd like to see what an icon will look like before you add it to your site, you can do it on fontawesome.com. So let's head over there. Let's find an icon. That's a good one. Ah, a mug with marshmallows. How about that? So there's a few things you can do here. Let's try changing a color. Let's try a red color. Boom. Awesome. And you can see that that change is reflected in the preview window and in the code snippet. And you can always reset here. Now, for changing size, you can just click on this drop down here and play around with whatever size you think might work for you here. And again, you see that the changes are reflected in the code snippet and the preview window. And hey, that's all there is to it. Now that you know how to change the color and size of icons, go make something awesome. Awesome, go make something awesome.